So if you're a coach that currently runs an indoor soccer facility and you want to learn how to create youth soccer leagues, then this video will help you. A lot of coaches that reach out to us that want to run youth soccer leagues, they have a lot of issues with structure, organization, payment methods, and essentially how to format their youth soccer leagues. So this video will answer all those questions. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the upcoming videos. So when I look at running a youth soccer league, I look at five different areas. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can plan, structure and essentially implement a youth soccer league into your indoor uh, soccer facility. So the first one is facility preparation. Now, you have to be realistic with yourself. Does my facility enable me to run a league? Uh, is my facility equipped to run a 3v3, 5v5 uh, football league, football soccer league in the facility, right? So when I look at running a youth league in an indoor facility, there's a number of things I look at. One, obviously, if you have pitch uh, a field available in order to run the league out of. Uh, two, do you have the necessary necess necessity in terms of do you have uh, bathrooms? Do you have changing rooms? Do you have somewhere where parents can sit to watch their child uh, play in the matches? And is the facility, how many parents can be at that facility at one time? Now the second one is league format. So how am I going to format my league? If I have one pitch available inside this facility, how many games can I have going on at one time? Now, there's a facility that we helped. This is it. the coach is in New Jersey. Right, he's got an indoor facility, which is essentially one, one large field, which you could probably do a 9v9. But what he did is he split the field into, into twos and ran 4v4 uh, matches at the same time. So if you don't have that luxury of having a, a huge or a big field at your facility, do you need to then maybe look to have one game running at once? So it's literally one game running, and then we've got a 10 minute break. Parents can leave, new parents come in, they run the league, they, they have their matches and so on and so on. Or if you have a 9v9 uh, field, can you split it to run two matches at the same time? Or more if you can. Right, so what's the league format? Is it 3v3? Is it 4v4? Is it 5v5? How long are the matches? How many teams are going to be competing? What's the age group? Uh, for your league, what's the ability level for, for your league? The third one is registration process. So what's the process registration to register onto your league? So if you're reaching out to local clubs to get their teams signed up for your indoor league, it might be a winter indoor league. Okay, what's the process? What's the payment method? The coach that we've worked with, what he did is he reached out to local uh, youth clubs in his area to get them to come and play in their 4v4 uh, indoor league. And essentially how it worked is the head coach of that team would make the, the payment up front and then it was the coach's responsibility to collect the payment off of the parents. So if, for example, it was $100 to play and register into the league, that coach would pay the $100 up front and then he would then collect the $10 off the 10 players that were on that team. 
So that way you as a facility aren't having to chase up with parents individually for payments. Everything is done through the head coach. The, the head coach registers, signs the team up and pays for them. Okay. So what is the registration process? And then also on top of playing their matches, how many matches does each team get? Does, he, does, it, does the teams get uniform or do they have to bring their own uniform? Are they provided snacks or refreshments? Okay, that's another thing that we helped a coach when, when he was running his league. Uh, each player got their own uh, uniform. Well, they got their own shirt. And that was a great way for that coach to then advertise and get sponsorship because certain parents that played that had their child play in that league wanted to have their company name on those team jerseys so if you have 10 teams that are playing in your league and each team has 10 players that's essentially 100 players that are going to be wearing the jer your jerseys and that's 100 plus people that are going to be seeing that, that company logo, right? So it's a great way to, to add a little bit extra revenue into your, your business and get sponsorship for your uh, youth league as well. Now, the fourth one is coaches and referees. So very simple way to do it is when you reach out to clubs, okay, you're already going to have coaches that are going to be running those teams, okay? So they're essentially going to be coaching the players on those teams. But another thing you need to take now into consideration is the referee, right? Where am I going to get the referees from or how many referees do I need in order to be able to run the, the league, okay? So when we worked with this coach, we set up a process where, where he recruited four referees for a period of X amount of matches for that league, okay? So... Recruitment of coaches, okay, coaches, if you're hiring out your, your facility and you're bringing t external teams into your facility, then the chances are they're, go they're already going to have a coach. But if you're looking to run everything in-house, then you might need certain coaches to run those teams for you uh, on the weekend or whenever your, your matches are. Okay? Also, you're going to need referees. So if you have staff within your indoor facility, you might then use them as the referees to run the matches. Okay, so coaches and referees, really important part of running a successful uh, soccer league. Now, the fifth one is feedback and surveys, right? So getting feedback and surveys after your your league is, is complete and seeing what people have said so that you can improve your service. Now, once you get the feedback, okay, this is a great way to then follow up with coaches or teams to try and get them signed up to you, any upcoming league that you're doing, right? So if you, if you run your first league, it, it was a success. What I would do is I'll co call up all the coaches that attended and ask them for any feedback on the league, right? How can we do things better? What did you guys enjoy? What did you guys not enjoy? And would you be interested in doing it, uh, our, our league, in three, six, 12 weeks time, okay? Now, what I would do is try to keep, if you're gonna run another league after one has already finished, keep them quite consistent so that you can then sell coaches and, and teams onto the upcoming league. So when you do these follow-up calls to get feedback and surveys, essentially you can offer them a discount if they sign up to your, your next upcoming league. That way you guarantee teams already at that upcoming league and also they can become consistent uh, customers to your league. Okay. So if you need any more questions or you need one-on-one -on -one help, running a youth soccer league for your business this could be either indoor or you could you can run them outdoor if you have a training business as well reach out to me this is something we have helped air coaches to do uh, the links to reach out to me are in the description below this video so if you need more help
go to the description and you'll find all the information there and make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all my latest content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.